fit for no man. My haters, no stand. Shut me up or let my program. Jack Ryder, no man. Skills twice as good as most men. Your favorite, most men. Special deliveries with both hands. That don't prove in your plan. They tell me that I'm never gonna reach these goals. Took a big cam, little buddy, don't talk. Every two poppers just play your role. Life's too good for me to reach these goals. You know how these things go. Save it when I make these things go. This piece of the pain is a thing I chose. I'm a beat for the G, cause I'm getting heat, bro. Conquer this lake, dude? Yeah, YouTube just being YouTube, so I said, I'm need now. Okay, we, not uh, the answer I wanted to hear. I'm selling drug paraphernalia, I guess. Then ding in my videos. Yeah, well, can't be selling drugs online, dude. I mean, that's technically Fucking bandito illegal. bug. Hey, that bandito bug is a drug. <laughs> It is. It's a drug I'm addicted yeah. to. That's what it is. Like, I got to send him an email because apparently I'm selling drugs and they're digging my video. <sighs> Gigabase.com. Yeah, Gigabase. Get addicted. <laughs> What's up with my voice? I do what the hell happened here. Have you seen the beautiful sunrise? Oh, it's great. Over the water? Yeah, I came outside. I'm just so ready to throw a topwater bait. Boom! You know what I'm saying? So let's get let's get these little keys punched. And I'm ready. Well, actually, I'm not yet. Let me just I'm almost done. Up over the treetops, and it's gonna be a beautiful day. That's plain to see. But I won't be around at all. So don't even bother to call. I'm going fishing with Lunkers TV today. Welcome back. We are going bass fishing today on the lake that we caught eight inch fish on. And uh, it's it's in our mindset to go conquer this lake today. Kind of, you know, redeem ourselves. We didn't try it too long. Um, I feel like we missed some opportunities. So our goal today is to catch a four pound, either largemouth or smallmouth, because we've got both in this lake, and to just figure out a good general pattern to catch fish out here. So. Let's go break it down and get them on the line. Loading up the boat right now. We've got a very short ride to the boat ramp, and where we fished yesterday, we, you know, we ended up catching a lot of small fish within two hours at three different areas, and we just thought that's what was going on. There's just a lot of small fish up in the shallows, so we just went to another lake, ended up working out. But what we're going to do today is go to a, a another other parts of the lake that are. Um, in other parts of the creeks and things like that and, and explore because we think there's some good largemouth in here and there's also good smallmouth but we just weren't fishing the right areas so we're going to move around jump around until we find the juice as they say in the big leagues <laughs> Good. It's the most bait we've seen. Where does Chad spawn? Where do they spawn? No, where, where is it? 
what's happening in those pockets. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, How do they like, beat their heads off each other or some <laughs> shit? Huh? They stick their eggs to any uh, grass usually. Yeah. So they gotta have something. I was told they beat their heads off, you know, lies or something. I don't know. I'll go, what? Sounds funny when you say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm, I'm throwing a blooper, which is a, a popping style topwater bait. So sunny and calm. I, I don't know if they're gonna go after the top top water today, though. It, this might be um, this might be a soft plastics sort of day. Uh, what's interesting is we see a lot of grass out in front of us, and we didn't see that yesterday. This is it feels like it's more largemouth-like this area we're in. So that might come into play too, fishing this this grass off the uh, off the bank line. But uh, right now, it's still, still early morning. We're trying to figure out what these fish are doing, where they want to be, and what's their attitudes. My attitude is I want to catch about 10 and then go get me a cup of coffee and really kick it in the high gear. Because I'm not fully awake yet. I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm like robotically throwing this thing. I need some coffee and pancakes. I'm going to be an absolute slayer. Yep. Yep. There we go. They are here. They are here. Man, this is going to look like better and better as we go back through here, too, isn't it? Rob, this fish means a lot. No, it's, it means that we're, we're not idiots. <laughs> we go back and we're like, this is starting to look good. There's bluegill, uh, there's some yeah. bait. The water's a little more stained. It looks so good. It all makes sense. It does look good. Where are the fish? I man, they might. I be... didn't even feel him bite. Just moving. Was he was he on on the on the steep? He's he's very close. He's just on one of those little sticks, but he's just moving off with it. Yeah. Bandito bug. Good job, this buddy. Is... You just you just got us a real life largemouth bass. We did, man. <laughs> this is way bigger than anything we caught here yesterday. But hey, we gotta get a four pounder. So I feel good. I feel good. I'm not I'm not quite coffee good, but this feels good. Well no, what's good about it is I think we can go even farther north. Sweet. Yes. That is a lot of focus, though. This is uh, shallow, dirty. There's a lot of cover. And um, yesterday we were just fishing like really clear, clear stuff, and um, just getting smallmouth, this little spotted bass, and just really no largemouth. I don't think we had a largemouth here yesterday at all. So good sign, good sign of things to come. That kind of feels like a fish. I think it is. that a large mouth large mouth without a large mouth <laughs> sardine it says damn sardine it, it didn't even hit it it just I set up uh, there's a I didn't feel my bite either there's a fish they're on the they're on the, the steep bank huh I'm gonna be honest y'all I am super hungry and I'm half tempted to hang it up and just go get you feel like you're not focused I'm right not now? focused I don't have I haven't had coffee I'm like kind of out of it you know like if you like I don't drink very much anymore, but after like a long night of drinking, you're kind of like groggy in the morning. You're like, this sucks. Man, you act like we got drunk last night. We didn't. We, had, like, a we few fell beers. asleep at 10 o'clock and actually it might have been 9.30. What if that was a uh, nine and a half pound bass that you just caught? Would that, would that change your breakfast ideas right now? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'm going to put on a bandito bug and just get it. There's something about a morning sunrise and a coffee that that sets you right. You know, like that that sets me right for like three hours of doing this without a bite. I can handle it. Just enjoy the moment. Old bandito bug on a black and blue bandito. How many fish have been caught on a black and blue bandito bug, do you think? Like in history now, at this point. How many do I think? Yeah. That's a good question. Uh how many I would say over a million. Over a million. 
I don't think how many bags. We sold a well over a million of bags. Yeah, I mean. Like well over millions of bags. Wow. You know what I mean? Think about it. If we've sold a m 10 million bags of bandito bugs, you don't think that one in 10. Unless everybody's just, you know, throwing them away after every <laughs> cast. Okay, I, I, I guess, if you do the math. Yeah, I mean, how about 500,000? There's at least 500,000. 500,000 on black and blue bandito bug. Oh, just the black and blue? Oh, shit. look at there's a little crappie dig. A little, little tiny spinnerbait in the tree. Oh, yeah. That's little crappie jam. spinnerbait. <laughs> Is that what or no? That's my jam right there. <laughs> Put a bandito bug on that. Let it roll. The big ones are eating the black and blue, by the way. <laughs> it's confirmed. You know, it's cra another thing about that, right, Patman? Day one, I caught. Oh. Ooh. Little gilly. That's a, that's, that's a warm mouth or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, warm mouth. What or is a, it? Uh, green sun. I can't remember which one that is. I don't know. It's peeing. Obviously big enough to eat a bandito bug. Mmm. His teeth are really sharp. It's like a Goliath. I think it's a... God, I love doing this. The comment section just goes nuts over this because these are not my... Pumpkin seed red it's ear? Red ear? <laughs> is it red ear? I forget what it is. It's not a warm mouth, is it? It might be. It's either a warm mouth or... It's a sunfish. It's a fish that... that I don't go after. What I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by that thing was day one I caught like 15 shorts and day two and three I caught zero. Zero shorts. It's got zero shorts, but day one, I, was, I don't know why I was just started thinking about that. Dude, let's go get some coffee, come on. Okay. You ready? All right, all right. Things are heating up, but we gotta get, we gotta get coffee in our system to, to really flip for hours. It takes, it takes a certain amount of dedication Hundreds of flips. No, thousands. And thousands, and you're only getting, you know, you're aiming for five good bites usually when you're flipping. So let's go get a little fuel in our system, nice little warm up, and let's get back after. Give me some pancakes. here at Swadley's Foggy Bottom. Started out with a foggy morning. Now we're a bright sunny bluebird. shared a set of pancakes that were absolutely just hitting the spot. I had, what I have, six eggs or eight eggs? Yep, cheese some onions, eggs. some cheese, and then I had, uh, oh, crispy bacon that was nice and thick. But then the topper was that little sourdough-ish pancake thing. And now, oh, and a glass of coffee. Good old fashioned cup of coffee. You want to, um... You just don't get um, that every day when you're fishing. You don't. No, hell no. It's a special treat. Now I feel I could go conquer the lake. Probably won't, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try hard. We're gonna run. I feel good about it. Vibes are good. As a crow would fly, we're gonna run three miles. You down with that? Or do you want to run to the other side of the lake? Around there, which would be roughly two about six miles or so, except to be in the dirtier water that we know is dirty. But we saw all the boats go that way. I oh. liked what we were looking at. You want to go more there. north? I liked. We'll go on this. Little, I liked what we were looking at. We'll go on this little nugget right there. Right. Let's let's try to find some good little nuggets. Money bag in there. A little 
fresh spool here. Caught many a bass on this on this line the last month. Probably about time to change it. You know, a month in uh, Texas fishing, putting on some fresh 20. We're on like the most northern end of the lake. Water temp is 66 and a half. I don't think we're gonna be able to see any on bed, but I'm sure we can pick a couple off that are moving back on the edge of this grass line. So you can spool up on the boat really fast. You know what I mean? Like connects on there. I use, I use my foot. I've never done it the way you just did it. That's pretty easy way too, but. There one. Come on, baby. Yes. There you go. Good one. Heck yeah. I thought we were going to get on moving bait around a little bit. Look at the grass up here. Right on the edge of the grass. Right on the edge of the grass, Jerry. Oh, loud you loud. Actually it looks fish. very healthy. Okay. Okay. A large mouth. Um yeah, probably. I like that thing quite a bit. It really helps with that the way I I kinda like the way I have my terminal set up right there. Oh big it. Oh no, that felt good. No, another oh is that a large mouth? I don't think that is. That is a freaking pike? What is that? It's a walleye. Is that a walleye? Oh my gosh, it is. It is a walleye. You got a walleye up shallow. You got dude. a walleye up shallow. Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, what is it? What do we know what the regulations are? Interesting out here. Yeah, he hit it like a like a hammer and then he came in like a wet noodle spinning. He's checking the regulations, see if we can because you already know Rackley if it's kept. Oh. Or keeper, he's keeping. He don't let it go. Me, I'm just enjoy your life, buddy. I'll go buy a salmon at the store. Good morning, Department of Wildlife. This is Leah. May I help you? Hi. Um, I have a question. I'm on Lake Murray, and I'm wondering about the walleye and sauger regulations. Uh, what's the minimum length to keep those out here? Okay. There's no spe special regulation for Murray? Uh, no, there are no special limits for Murray. Um, just on the large and smallmouth bass, there's no length limit on Lake Murray. Okay. Not at all. All right. So any, any walleye or sauger is considered a keeper as well as largemouth and smallmouth? Uh, the uh, walleye, sauger, and smallmouth 14? are 14 inch. Okay. So minimum length is 14 for walleye and sauger. There's no link limit on smallmouth and largemouth. Correct. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Confirmed. Uh, it's definitely a 14. Let's, let's just measure just to make sure. So walleye, the, the walleye and sauger both have that white tip on their tail. I, I don't see the spots there. I think that's an actual walleye. Oh, well, look at that. Let's look at the back one. Oh, that one. Yeah. yeah, that one right there. Okay. Yeah. So if you see spots inside of here, apparently that's a sauger. Me and Rob don't have much experience with these, so that's why we were we were calling just to make sure. But um, it's definitely a 14. Let's, let's measure it. The deal here, we got a 15 and a half. Oh, not even 16. 15 and a half. Definitely an eater, though. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. So good. The best eating fish, the only thing better than a crappie, is a walleye. Well, dude, you feel everything. And the largemouth came out and decided to poke its head around the wrong thing. Caught himself a good old stout three-aught. I saw that. White oh, bass. White Love bass. Love it. God, Everything's are, in here. We are catching everything today, son. He's skinny. Just had a largemouth hit it. Um, that might work, you know. Do Spinnerbait was my deal yesterday, but there's a lot of different species back here. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, they're in mud. Literally everything. Ooh, look at that right 
I have to have a big fish mindset. Yeah. I watched a 45 minute video or so on fish travel. There's another one. Yep. There you know that bass don't, they will not go across like open water? I think the spot's another one. That's like deeper than 25 foot. Really? Yeah. They put some tracking on some small mouth and large mouth on which one would move farther. And I watched a whole 45 minute segment on it. Kind of interesting. For these, if they really see fish on the south end, they would literally follow the bank all the way up. They would never cross over the lake. Huh. Not a single time did a fish ever cross. Scared the sharks might get them? I don't know. I mean, hell, if I was a bass, I wouldn't want to. Would you cross over 100 foot of water trying to swim? In a bassy, bassy looking area. He is not four pounds. Not four pounds. That's uh, one of the biggest ones of the day. That is. Yeah. So we're all the way in the back of a little creek pocket right now. Sort of like we were doing uh, on that other lake the other day. But this is two different lakes essentially. Same body of water, but you got deep, clear, rocky, and then it's just shallow five, six different kinds of vegetation. And uh, Rob just caught that fish out of a pile of, looks like coontail grass right here. And um, we're just looking for that four pounder though. We're getting, we're doing okay. It's just, there's a weird mix of other species in here we weren't expecting either. So obviously they want to live in this creek. There's something good going on. I think it has to do with the bait. This is one of the first creeks we've seen bait fish jumping around when we throw our lures up in the shallow water and um, I like the way it looks you know I like the way it looks it actually looks like a couple little bedding areas as well but that four pounder it's elusive I like that a lot of different species are up there and we got dinner Really? New spot right now. So we've headed back south a little bit. We basically went all the way up as far north as we could, got in the dirtiest, shallowest stuff. Got some bites, but there was a lot of different species in there. Ended up catching a walleye, boxed it. And um, we ran down to a, a pocket just south of here, south of there. And the, wa the water's definitely cleaner. Um, and we're going to try kind of the same thing we were doing over there, just, just in a little cleaner water. And um, it looks good, but the difference in water clarity is pretty significant. There's everything from gin clear to, to muddy on this lake. So I don't like the super clear water for right now. It seems, seems like that's not the deal. It seems like um, just a good stain is uh seems to be the most productive got a bite on the swim jig the grass Rob's got one hey decent here we go i got him to eat a shaky head with a uh oh about to slide a little five inch dart on there god he is really slimy Where are the big ones? I don't know. Got to meet a dart though. Dragging the bottom. Ooh. Sorry. No, it's fine. Had to come in. Hot for that one. That's what we're dealing with. Large mouth on the swim jig around the grassy point. It's just not the kind of dude. That's not the one. There's no link liniment on these out here, uh, which is kind of odd. Normally it's, um, normally it's 14, but, 
Apparently somebody caught a 14 pound largemouth out of here just a few years back. So that, that gives me some hope, but it's like, how many little, little dudes are you gonna catch? I think the only other thing we haven't explored is deep on points. That's the only thing we haven't tried. So we're gonna try that. If they're not out there, folks, we're having a hard time breaking this one down. I'm sure if you were here, you could probably let us know. You can let us know in the comments. How, what are we doing wrong? Just go ahead, let it fly. But I'm telling you, we're trying. We're trying it all. A uh, couple of uh, couple of uh, energizing beverages and some some slow dragon out on points. That's all you can do on a yeah. hot spring day. Or you could fish a different lake that has big bass. It could be the lake choice. We don't we don't really know. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, but we were having a really hard time understanding. A winning bag out here. I've heard is like 20 pounds of bass. I don't believe it. We're not even in that, that not even five stratosphere. Pounds, I don't so, believe it, dude. It's hard for me to It's believe. hard for me to believe. I mean, just straight up runts. So, you, it's not like we can't catch big ones, y'all. I mean, we, you saw us catch a pretty large fish in the last video, but we're gonna do all the things. We're gonna get out some light line. We're gonna try some deep tactics and uh, try to break this down and hopefully have a uh, a four pounder get on our line. I will feel extremely accomplished about a four pound bass. Put it in the light. I don't really know. You know Mark on the calendar. Well, we're here back at our house. The nice thing about uh, staying on the lake is you just come back by here when the bite's a little slow, maybe you want to just regroup take a nap do whatever and you're still connected to the water and the fish you want me to tie up oh my six pound line it's a good time do you ever just sit at your house with stuff and just randomly sing shit? she's like what are you doing um yeah i do right now the hairstyle you look like you should be on vikings yeah yeah, it's <laughs> like this thing right here. <laughs> you should see when I got it real gelled up, slicked. It's, it's aerodynamic. It's good for boat rides. We've tried in the dirt. We've caught largemouth. Now, we've got a very calm day. We're gonna try deep on these points. It's another thing that we have not tried. And then, um, since it's so calm, we're also gonna do a little looking on the main lake and some of these pockets to see if we can see any fish that are maybe still on beds that are large size. So, if that doesn't work, y'all, I'm sorry, but it ain't taking 20 pounds to win out here right now. Oh yeah, dude. There's fish all over down there. Just getting, just getting molly whopped. Just doom, 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 doom. I think I got one on right now, or it's got it in its mouth at least. Look at this. It's on. Look at my, look at my rod tip. It's all heavy. We got him that time. Got him that time. What do we got? Oh my, they're back. <laughs> friend you know that's our little buddy Palooza of little dinkers 
has come to an end, folks. I think we made a great audible yesterday going to a different lake. Turns out we've tried everything and we cannot get a big bite. Up shallow, deep, flipping, throwing moving baits. We've done it all. Different water clarities, you name it, north, south, east, and west. But we're going to head back to the cabin right now. We do have the fortunate situation of having a walleye in the box. That's extremely rare for us, us Texans. So we are going to slap the sides off of it. There it is. The trusty, delicious. Still alive? Walleye. Oh yeah, it's still alive. We're gonna go ahead and get the fish out now. And then a little later, we're gonna have a little sundown stack, snack. I know I know. Rob is, uh, he said walleye one time. I don't know if he enjoyed it the, the most. I think it's one of the best fish ever. And uh, I, I want you to believe it as well. I know you love your salmon, but best freshwater fish? Crappie. Hard to beat a crappie. I'm gonna tell you what, this thing has got some <laughs> daggum shoulders on it, man. <laughs> This is this is definitely the biggest fish of the day. It is a walleye. The best catch of the day. And you know what's so great about these? Just cleaning them is so easy. Just like a hot dog. You just take them right off. Okay, ladies and gents, that is a beautiful piece of meat right there. I love the way walleye clean up too. They're so easy to fillet, much easier than a, than a bass or a crappie. It's just the easiest fish to clean and it tastes the best, which is so rare. We hardly get them back in Texas. So there's a few places in Oklahoma you can catch them, but that is about as far south as you're gonna catch a walleye. About to have that delicious southern walleye. You don't see that every day. Make you slap your large mouth. Woo okay, about five or six minutes in the butter in the pan. We'll go ahead and cut it off. Let it rest for just a minute. Throw a little fresh lemon on it. Go enjoy a sunset, fresh walleye bite. That's how we want to enjoy it. It was a fun date today. We tried. We tried desperately to make it happen. We tried for you folks to try to develop all the patterns, try to learn ourselves even, you know? I felt like it was some old times, just trying to break down the lakes. And Dirty to clear to 20 foot of water to three foot of water. And we caught them in every single depth range between 20 foot and three foot. Yeah, they were just that, that I don't know, it is so weird. But you did catch this thing. And it is uh, is a rare catch, so um, why don't you grab a fork and uh, enjoy your your sweet, delicious catch? Flaky. Who yes. doesn't want to stick a golden crispy and made by himself oh, into oh his own my, mouth? Oh my! What you got on that? It's actually pretty good. I've added a little too much salt. But, a little bit, yeah. But the texture is... No, it's real flaky. Amazing. Salt actually reminds me of like when the Vikings used to shove the salt inside their fish to store them for about four weeks. Well... How was that? This will bind your insides up. This is going to bind my insides up. I need it. Mm. Mm. Hope you guys enjoy this video over here in the Guggen Squad. Mm -hmm. There's a tasty little nugget with a bunch of tasty nuggets. Literally. Yep. And we'll be back soon. Getting together. More of the guys breaking down another leg, having fun, doing some other, you know, maybe some tournaments together and uh, some other fun things. So stay tuned for that. 
We love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of the Goon Squad.